Have you ever been animating a cool shot that you like? And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, what would my animation look like if it was on twos or on fours? Kind of like a stepped feeling and turn it into more of like a Spider-Verse kind of kind of thing. Or you have a shot that you're splining and you like what you have, but you want to show it on twos for some reason and you just don't want to bake everything on every single frame. You know what I mean? Because that's destructive and that just ruins the rest of your animation. If you want to tweak something, then all of your keys are keyed and all of your nice curves are lost. Well, good news, my friend Esom Bayot just created an amazing tool that does exactly that. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Ilse Minx and this is The World Space. If we haven't met, I am an actress and an animator who works for games, movies and TV shows. And today I want to talk to you about a very special tool. The tool is called Tusify. And here is why it's awesome. Normally, if you want to see your animation stepped or on twos and fours, you would have to bake your animation. And that can be a huge pain because you risk losing all the subtle things that spline can give you. But with Tusify, you don't have to worry about that. It lets you make your animation stepped at any point of the process. Without losing your spline animation, it kind of creates another layer on top of what you're working with. So imagine you have a character all the way in spline and maybe even polish, okay? Think a character just looks amazing and you're curious and you're curious and you're like, mm, what would this look like in twos? Tusify creates a layer where you can set your character on twos or even fours and attach the character to the camera space. The best part is you can animate it on and off, meaning you can freely toggle between spline and stepped looks without messing up any of your curves or keys. Super flexible. And here is how you use it. When you download the tool, just drag and drop the drag and drop installer into Maya. You're gonna have this script on your shelf. If this doesn't happen for whatever reason, you can go into the script editor, go to the Python tab, go ahead and open the Tusify script, paste it in your Python tab, and then middle mouse click, drag it up and just create a shelf button. That's another way to install it. Then you can give it an icon. There's an icon there in the folder. So let's use this tool in a shot and see how it works. Now here we have this beautiful animation from Joel Ho. As you can see, the animation is already splined and polished. But we want to make this animation stepped in a non-destructive way without losing our splines. Here's how we can do it. Just grab all the controls on the character. Click on Create an Animation Layer from Selection. Click on the Anim Layer drop-down menu and we can select Set Keys on Twos, for example. So it's going to set some keyframes for you. This is different than baking your animation. If you bake your animation, it's not gonna bake the animation layer. It's gonna bake the base animation. So please use this tool instead. Make sure the tools layer is selected and then click on update layer. Looks like some controls were missing from the selection. This is a great opportunity to show you guys another part of the tool. Just right click here and say add selection to anim layer. And now the animation is stepped. As you can see, the animation's looking pretty jittery, especially in this section. The camera is moving, but the character is static in space. So it just creates this weird feeling. We need to connect the character to the camera. Again, in a non-destructive way, because we don't want to lose our animation. If you turn off the tools layer, you can see our animation is still there. But if you turn it on, it's on twos. Let's fix the jitter by connecting it to the camera. Just grab the master control. Go into the attach to camera tab and assign master control. And then I grab the camera and assign to the camera here on this button. Assigned key times are basically our keyframes in the animation layer. So you assign that and you say attach to camera. Now our animation should be connected to the camera. And it feels smooth. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. Now let's say you're like, mm, but maybe I don't want the character to be connected to the camera in this section here. You can just go into the follow cam group, grab the control here called cam attach, 
you can just key the attachment to camera. For example, turn it off, then I can turn it on on the next frame. So he's not connected to the camera at first, and then he's connected to the camera. So that's pretty much what the script does. If for some reason you don't like it or you don't want it anymore, you can delete this follow cam group as well as the layer we created, and then your animation is intact. And now let me just show you the other functionality. Let's say you have a temp object, say a locator here, you have specific keys on it. Say these are keys that you want in stepped mode that you really love. So it doesn't have to be only on twos or only on fours. You can choose whatever rate you want. Say copy time, then I can select all my character controls, create anim layer from selection and say paste time. Then just make sure you click on update layer once you have all the keys. And now the animation is in stepped. And guess what? You can also add more keys. You just create more keys. You can grab even a section and say update layer. So it also works with arrange selected. There are presets here, so feel free to play with it. Two threes is basically keys on every two frames and every three frames later. Yeah, so I hope you find it helpful. So that's it. There you go. It's super easy to use and you can thank my dear, dear friend Eson Bayat. He works with me, he's an animator too, and he always is developing the craziest, most useful tools for us. Go check it out, give it a try, and let us know what you think. If you found this useful and want to take your animation skills to the next level, make sure you join my animation academy. I will leave you a link in the description down below. And if you do anything cool with this tool, please don't forget to tag me on LinkedIn. It would be a pleasure to see everything that you guys come up with. You're so talented. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That would really help us. God bless you guys and keep making art, you beautiful artists.